hi guys, so this is going to be my kind of coping mechanisms um, for pregnancy loss and like I said in my previous video, I do think one of the biggest factors of us coping so well is that we did have the lead up and um, obviously I can't imagine what it's like if you don't have that lead up and you do just start bleeding or um, you do just pass the baby and you had no warning at all. So I don't know if that's going to help you if that is what happened but I'm just going to share my coping techniques anyway. So apart from obviously the lead up and us expecting it, the first thing that really helped me is when I was in a and &E, I kind of touched on this in the last video, when I was on the A&E kind of bed and they were doing all the tests and everything, I was just googling quotes like for tough times and bad days and things like that. And I know not everyone kind of likes quotes or believes in quotes but I'm quite a big quote fan and I find they really help me psychologically to just kind of focus on the bigger picture rather than just what you're going through at the time so um, I put some of those quotes on Instagram to kind of help me so I can look back at them and remember them and I also found a few that have going to help me in the future of kind of the whole journey to the next pregnancy and hopefully a healthy baby so um, I'm sure I'll be sharing those in the future and that kind of took my mind off of all the testing they were doing so I wasn't just sat there in tears I was trying to already get my mind in a positive place and not really positive you can't really be too positive but like I said just trying to focus on the bigger picture and just trying to think that you know everything happens for a reason and even though it doesn't feel like it now it's gonna hopefully make us stronger in the future and more grateful in the future and it's gonna be even more worth it when we do get our baby because of what we've been through so um, I just tried to focus on that really and then the main thing that's really helping me actually is actually something one of my friends said I have quite a good really good group of blogger friends who I literally talk to every single day and they knew I was pregnant, they knew I didn't have a good feeling about it, they knew I really wanted an early scan and they kind of followed my whole journey with me and um, one of them, Jess, she actually, I hope you're watching Jess, she actually said to me like um, try and think about it as in she always thinks that you never actually lose a baby that baby is the same baby you're going to have, it just wasn't ready to meet you yet. And that's really helped me, So for some reason it's really helped me and um, I do kind of think like, I haven't lost him, I know I'm going to have him one day, he just wasn't ready to meet us and um, now when I picture him, I picture him like kind of looking down on us and he's... Um, He's kind of watching us, seeing how we're dealing with it and um, kind of seeing when he wants to come back and so and so that's why I kind of feel like I have to focus on the future and looking forward and um, like I said like getting back to healthy eating and workouts and just so he can see that my body is ready for him again and I feel like I sound like a maniac but it really helps me um, yeah just so he knows my body's ready and he wants to come back and he knows that this time it's gonna be fine and that he'll be okay to stay in there for the whole nine months and then I can bring him into the world. I'm <laughs> I'm aware I sound like an absolute crazy person right now but I think whatever helps you is good and that's really helping me thinking like that rather than I've lost him. Yeah, I don't know, it's just quite comforting to think that rather than to think like we're never going to see him again or we never got to meet him or whatever. I know that we're going to one day. Something else that really helped me as well, this is like really random and it's nothing to do with 
pregnancy loss or miscarriage or anything but I actually found Claire on YouTube who is from the Whit family and um, I actually found her through Katie, Katie and Baby so thanks Katie. Um, yeah, I watched Katie's video when I was in hospital and she said she was looking, um, she was just watching one of Claire's grocery hauls. So I thought I would check her out because I love grocery hauls. And um, I don't know if it's just like the timing or if it's just because it took my mind off, but I just, in hospital, I absolutely loved her videos. And um, I feel like we're quite similar. She's from the UK. Um, she works part time, but she's mainly a stay at home mum and she's got two kids and she likes to stay healthy and active and she does kind of at home workouts and goes to yoga and she does really healthy grocery shops and meal plans and recipes and things like that so I just thought I just felt like we were quite similar and I feel like when I look into the future in like five years like that is where I want to be like she's got two kids she's a stay at home mum she's still healthy still active she does all the healthy school lunches and things like that like lunch boxes and that's just how I've imagined my life like that is just what I've always wanted um, so it's kind of really nice to watch her and kind of I kind of know that that's going to be me in the future and um, Although our kids are going to be the other way around because her boy is the oldest and then her daughter is the youngest. Whereas obviously Sienna's going to be the oldest. So yeah, that just kind of really helped me. Like in hospital, I was so bored. But I had my phone and my headphones and my charger. So I just literally watched so many of her videos and it helped me just kind of look forward and think of the future. And it just kind of... Um, yeah, it was just like I was watching myself in the future, if that makes sense. I know, again, I sound like a crazy person. But, um, yeah, I felt like that's where I'm going to be in five years. So I need to stay strong so I have that. You know, I can't just... If I just crumble now, I'm never going to have that life that I wanted. And, obviously, I need to stay strong for Sienna and... Um, Sienna's helped so much. Like, having Sienna, it's just it's just so much easier, I have Sienna to focus on, she makes me laugh, like, and I just, I didn't think I could love her anymore, but I just love her so much, and I'm so grateful for her, and like I said, so grateful, I think that was in my previous video, actually, but so grateful for her healthy pregnancy we had and the birth we had and the fact that, that she was perfect and no complications or anything like I'm just so glad that I've got to do that once and um, yeah I don't really know what else to say I'm just trying to stay strong for her obviously sometimes I think about it and I do cry but I think it's, oh, it's okay to cry you know but at the same time, I don't want to sit there crying all day, every day and dwell on it. I know I need to get back to normal and, um, you know, like I said, just get myself back into a state where I'm ready for another pregnancy. So I feel like we are over the worst of it and I feel like we have had a good lead up to this to kind of grieve. I'm still dealing with it. We're still going to think about it. But I do think we're over the worst and we're kind of looking forward. Um, thinking about the next pregnancy really helps me because I already have a good feeling about it and I don't know if that's setting myself up to fail but just like I said my instinct took over and I knew it wasn't going to be this pregnancy it was going to be a future one so I just wanted to get this one out of the way. I know that sounds really horrible but that's just how I deal with things I just deal with it and then get rid of it and move on um, in terms of kind of trying again we do we do want to start trying again as soon as possible but I, I do want to make sure that we are ready and my body is ready and I'm going to speak with the doctor on Friday and just see what he kind of recommends how long leaving it. I think I should have at least one cycle and get my, so I kind of know my body's back to normal before we start trying. But at the same time, I would love to kind of get pregnant straight away 
again but I don't know I don't want it to be too much for my body that it ends like this again so um, yeah we'll just see what he says but obviously you know this has happened and you know that we do want another baby but we're obviously going to be a bit more cautious about it next time so if you do pick up on any symptoms or signs that I might be pregnant again please don't ask because we won't be telling you um, until we know everything is all good and safe so I promise obviously when the time comes we will let you know but until then please don't ask or you know rumour or try and guess like obviously if you think to yourself oh I think she's pregnant again that's fine but please don't write it in a comment or ask me or anything like that because it's just really hard um, it's, I find it really hard to keep a secret let alone when people are asking me and again I don't know it's just um, it's hard as well if I wasn't pregnant again and people are asking me if I am um, so yeah, please just try not to ask and I promise we will let you know when the time comes and when everything's healthy and we feel like we can share it. So yeah, just look forward to that. We're looking forward to that as well and hopefully it will be sooner rather than later, but who knows. So um, yeah, if you do have any questions, obviously pop them below. I can answer them for you. I don't want people to be scared about asking me questions if you're wondering something or if you want any advice. Hopefully this video has helped a little bit. Please let me know if it's helped you a little bit, what you found helpful and what you're using to cope as well. I do want to say as well, one thing that did help me cope was watching Missy Lanning's videos as well. You probably all know her, she's from Bumps Along the Way. but. Um, she now has a gorgeous seven month old Ollie but before that she had a 10 week miscarriage and then a 20 week stillbirth and she kind of did videos on her story and her coping mechanisms and um, obviously I do think some people say like it doesn't matter what stage you miscarry it's always painful but obviously the way ours happened it softened the blow and I can't imagine what Missy went through I do think hers must have been a lot more painful and it kind of made me realise like if she can cope with it and move on we can definitely cope with this and move on so um, I found her videos really helpful yeah I'm really sorry if these videos have be been really rambly but I wanted to get this over and done with like I said I feel like this is closure for us and um, now we've kind of got everything out in the open, everyone knows what happened, how we're coping and that we're okay, we're doing okay and we're looking forward to the future. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye.